What's going on YouTube here? I got an everyday carry medical kit. I would say it's in the micro section. It's pretty small and it has a lot of purpose and function, but it's five inches by about four. And I would say it's about an inch and a half thick. So I work construction, if you don't know, and I've selected these things based on my job environment. So here's a CPR face shield. You don't know what kind of diseases people carry or don't want to come in contact with bodily fluid. This is probably an inch by inch. I got this for free from my past job. So that's a useful thing to have if you're CPR certified or you can just do chest compressions. Here I have a set of gloves. They're a size large. I feel like these are important too. If you have a lot of blood on your hands, you can throw these on and try to stop any contamination. Here's some clear eyes in case anyone's cutting something with a saw and needs to flush it out. So I have this. Um, here's some butterfly closures. It's about six of them. So I don't like going to the doctor's office or anything. So if I can fix a small cut, I'm going to try my best. Some large band-aids. I feel like this is the best one to have in case you have a bigger cut than you expect. A little knife. This is probably a five or ten dollar knife from a gas station it's just a out the front knife easy to deploy might need the band-aids for this knife but <laughs> who knows so that's it for the front pocket so those are all the little knickknacks that i put in here and here's a swat t tourniquet fits in there perfect i'll give you some dimensions on this because people might want to carry this this is four inches by two and a half or so. <clears throat> so SWAT T tourniquets are good for one tourniquet, uh, pressure, uh, pressure dressing, um, arm sling, and there's probably other ones I don't, I'm not sure about. I didn't know too much about this, but I looked it up online and I felt like it was a good uh, thing to have, especially being so compact. So here it says tourniquet, elastic wrap, and pressure pressure dressing so it, I feel like if you don't have one of these go get one um, for like these little things I buy in a big pack at like Sam's Club or Costco it's a big band-aid kit with a whole bunch of other you know they have gauze pressure bandages and so buy one of those if you don't have anything that way you have a lot of you know, band-aids and other things, gloves to put in different kits. Here's some gauze pads for big cuts. And here's some quick clot. So, you know, there's a lot of usefulness in this small package. I feel like you know, this is probably this is probably the most expensive thing, but this is probably under forty dollars or so. But thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys later.